Joey Led's dipping back here for, well, a re-review actually. That's right, and you're gonna say, you just reviewed this not that long ago, over like the summer or whatever. Um, we're doing Stoker's Natural. And back then, this is what I thought. The flavor is not horrendous, but it's not a great flavor in my opinion. It's so salty that holy shit. If I was a snail or a slug, I'd be croaking at the scene right now. So I'm afraid I'm gonna have to give this a six out of 10. And the only reason I'm re-reviewing it is because my opinion has changed completely on it. So I figured, you know what? I'm gonna re-review it. So let's get right into it. We are fucking shit. <laughs> I'm drinking Red Bull. You can always tell when I'm, you know, on Red Bull, on Red Bull. Um, Stoke is natural, got it out of the tub. So the presentation, I love the way the tubs look. They just look so cool and rustic. They're just badass. I mean, hey, look, it's Bobby Stoker's. A great dip at a fair price. <laughs> Obviously, they have the uh, refillable pocket can, you know, because for most people, this won't fit in your fucking pocket. So, um, you know... I love the presentation, tin construction, I mean, this thing, you know, it's cool and I'm glad they have this, it's awesome, I love that, but obviously, you know, it's bound to be a flimsy tin. When you, the single cans you can buy in some places have a metal lid, not these ones, but I'm just going to want to show how flimsy this fucking thing is. You can take the lid and just bend it in half. <laughs> so it's kind of flimsy. It does the job though, it still works fine and dandy. So obviously with Stoker's... No date, but, you know, with Stoker's, it doesn't really matter. Uh, Stoker's never goes bad. It just doesn't. If you had a tub of it just sitting around for six months, wouldn't be bad. Be perfectly fine. Any of the flavors. Stoker's keeps, and it keeps well. Um, so let's, you know, I almost said crack open. It's, you know, you can't crack it. No side label. I can't even line it up. Ah! So we're going to take a whiff of the scent here. Ooh, nice full tin. Obviously dark brown, because it's Stoker's. Wonder if you kept one of these for ten years, if it would be bad, or eh, we'll go with five years. I bet it'd still be. It wouldn't be completely dry. Okay, so um, it it doesn't it doesn't smell like any other natural dip out there. Uh, naturals, for the most part, are are just naturally salty. Except people say Grizzly 1900 is pretty salty. I don't think it is. I think like Copenhagen natural is pretty salty, but. This one smells a lot different. It does smell natural, it's not artificial, but it smells very salty. Extremely salty. Good smell. So I guess we're gonna pack a lip. Um, really don't need to pack the tin because this thing's filled to the brift. I mean, not brift, <laughs> brift. Filled to the brim and it's Stoker's. We don't need to pack it. So we'll just grab a lip right out of this. Oh yeah. That's a nice lip right there. See the strands? Woo! 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 I had to do it. All right, let's put her in there. Woo! Hoo-hoo! Oh, yeah. It's up over the teeth. That's when you know it's a good lip. So this is where my opinion has changed, is the flavor. At the time, I was into Wintergreens and obviously Cope LC and stuff, but not the natural dips. I mean, Cope LC is natural, but it's original tobacco. But I wasn't huge into the natural dips. Uh, I think it's an acquired taste, especially with this one. At the time, I didn't like it because it was so salty, and I didn't like that. But I've acquired the taste for it, and at this point, I absolutely love the saltiness to it. Love it. It's a nice natural dip. It's not It's not artificial. It's just really salty, but it you can still taste the tobacco. I, I love it. I love it to death. It's an acquired taste. You get a can, you know, might not like it at first. Get another can, you might. And if you don't, well, you know, I guess we'll have to agree to disagree on that one. Kryptonite mud jug today matches me. And so does a hat. Kryptonite, did I say that? Yes, I did. But why did I say, did I say that? Because I can. 
swear, some people probably think I'm on drugs. Nope, just caffeine. Even without caffeine, I'm a pretty uppity guy. I can't really compare it because it's way different than any other natural, but I guess uh, when you're talking about natural dips, I guess it's the closest to Cope Natural. Uh, it's not at all like Grizzly Natural. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's similar to Cope Natural, I guess, but not quite. It's a lot more salty. The cut, obviously, it's Stoker's. They are the second longest cut dip. The first would be Gold River. You can literally take Gold River and just pull the whole thing out of the tin. With this, you can pull a lot of it out, but not the, well, yeah, I guess the full tin, actually. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I mean, the strands are just ridiculous. Very long cut, it's awesome. Texture, it's moderately, well, actually, um, I find like Stoker's Mint and Winter Green, I haven't tried the straight, because I don't do straight dips. People ask me, why don't you review straight dips? Because Longhorn Straight was the first dip I ever had, and I just can't do straights. Um, but uh, yeah, the texture, for the other ones, it's not bad, but for this one, all the salt in it, Holy shit, it takes its it's very rough in there. Oh man. It takes its toll on the gums, man. I'm telling you, all the salt, but but you know what? I don't care. I love it. Love it. If you pack it a lot, it's pretty rough. Um obviously with Stoker's packability, no, there's no problem there. Stoker's is one of the best packing dips. You just throw it right like I mean you saw me. You don't even have to technically pack it. Yeah, shit, you could just pull it right out of the tub. You pack a lip, no floaters, no nothing. It just stays right in place thanks to the long cut of it. But uh, because of the salt, obviously the texture, it's rough in the lips, so yes, you do get a, <laughs> you can, after a couple lips, you get a mega burn from this shit. It's a nice pleasant burn, but you do get a burn, especially if you, like, <laughs> I think yesterday I went two, through two of these. I think I've gone through three overall since I got it the other day. And uh, yeah, it'll give you a nice burn for sure. Now Stoker's, you can throw in a huge lip of it for me, of the mint or wintergreen. I love both of those, by the way. And, um, when I, even when I pack a huge lip, I, I don't get any, I don't, well, obviously I get nicotine, but I don't feel a head rush from it. For some reason, with this one I do, usually wintergreens are the strongest, mints are second strongest, and usually naturals are more mild, but for some reason, when I pack this, I do get a head rush. Um, not a huge one, but I can feel it. I can feel it. Interesting. I don't know why. <laughs> It's a natural dip. That's not common. I don't know if it's just me being a fucking whack loon like I commonly am but yeah I, I can I get a decent amount of nicotine from this I don't know if it actually has more than the winter green and mint or if it's just me but either way I feel a nice little head rush from it I like that not many dips will do that to me anymore so I like when it happens spit hmm, hmm. Stoker's is no slacker in the spit department you get tons of spit even from the natural but you know you get most from the winter green and mint but even with the natural you get a lot of it it's dark spit it pretty much just flows like a fucking river uh, tons of spit. There's no problem there. And last ability. Another one of Stoker's strong points. I have nothing bad to say about Stoker's, by the way. It lasts a good long time. You can pack a good lip like this. Yeah. It can last you a fucking hour and a half sometimes. It lasts good. It's crazy. And aftertaste. No problem there, really. It just leaves that salty taste in there. Um, so it's no problem. I like the salty taste now. I didn't in June. I do now. So, um, no problem at all. It's not a bad aftertaste. It doesn't taste like ass. It just leaves a salty taste in there. No problem at all with that. And, holy shit, shoutouts. We have quite a few today. Um, of course, first of all, I want you to check out my friends Hunter and Jared. Uh, Rocky Top Dipper, my friend Hunter. Please check them out. Great videos. And, and same with Jared, Tennessee Dipper. Also great videos. Also, one of my buddies, Jordan, just uh, made his first dip review, and I think he's great. I mean, usually when you start making dip reviews, you, you, you know, they're, not to lie, to, to be honest, they're shit at first, and you progress as you go along. Him, right off the bat, first dip review, great, please check him out, uh, the Bluegrass Dipper. And we have a shitload, you know, of shoutouts. What, what would a Joey Led's video be without 100,000 shoutouts? Uh, dip Everywhere, Dip, 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 Long Cut Chronicles, Harley Janeri, 1998, Dippin' 343, Kentucky Dipper, Cope Dippin' 14, and New Dipper 17. Check them all out, and uh, yeah, a lot of shoutouts this time around. Can't wait to do those annotations. And number of subscribers, I can't believe this, 8,748 subscribers. Shit, when I recorded this, my first Stoker's Natural review over the summer, I had about four or 5,000, and just look at us now. Absolutely amazing. Thank you so much, everybody. I love you all. Keep dipping and spitting and shit like that. And now it's time for the rating. 
course, my opinion on this has changed uh, drastically. Before, I gave it a 6 out of 10, and um, I acquired the taste for it. Love it now. I have nothing bad to say about this stuff. Absolutely amazing. I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. I absolutely love this shit. Would I dip it again? <laughs> no, it's a 10 out of 10. I'm not going to dip it again. Fuck this shit. Of course, I would dip it again, and I will dip it again. I love this stuff. I highly recommend it. Please uh, try it out. Do yourself a favor, try it out. Like I said, it might take you a little time like me to acquire the taste, but once you do, I guarantee you'll like it. And if you don't, you'll get a full refund. <laughs> you know. Um, anyways, that's been the dip review. Uh, if you like this video, please thumb it up, like it. it. Makes me happy. And feel free to like my Facebook page, facebook.com slash joeyledsdippin94. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. More, 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 more.